what's going on YouTube Keena Renee here I'm back with another video today is going to be a what's in my work bag video if you saw my um, Amazon accessories haul and you saw the fail when I got this bag on Amazon for my laptop so I got a new bag from Amazon and I told you guys that I was gonna show you my new bag whenever I got it here it is here is my new bag. I absolutely love it. Let's go ahead and get into the video, shall we? All right, so this bag, I will link it down in the description box below. It was, I wanna say $34.99. Don't get me the lion. So the first item that you will see in my bag, you see this Amazon notification. I'm so bad. So the first thing that I have in my bag is my iPad. My iPad is really what I was using before I got my MacBook as like my work machine but now that I got my MacBook I just really use this um, for on the go which not so much anymore since you know we're slowly but surely coming out of this quarantine but I use this like um, to play games um, to stream I use it as like when I'm working out I take this with um, with me since gyms are closed I work out outside I take this with me to you know do my little workout videos my cloning team mm -hmm -hmm. this is what I mainly use my my um, iPad for now for emails things like that very small stuff but still very handy also what I have in here is my handy dandy notebook I'm a writer at in my core I have to write everything down a notebook just always comes in handy for me whether if I'm on a conference call I don't really like to take notes on my iPad or on my MacBook I prefer just to write down um, while I'm on conference calls and for my YouTube stuff my other notebook is almost pretty much full you know because I script out my YouTube videos and my conference calls and all type of other stuff so this one is pretty much full so I have my new one in my new work bag my um, stylus for my iPad I keep this inside here it's not an Apple pen them things are so daggone expensive but I absolutely love this stylus I will put this in the description below as well it wasn't that much money but it works very very well so moving on so um, this is I'm not sure this is an absolute necessity if you have a MacBook. These used to come in the box or they don't anymore. It's an extension cord. They're 19 bucks. I will link it down below. If you do not have one for your MacBook, please get one because it don't make no sense that these are sold separately now. It makes absolutely no sense. They know they need to put these back in the box. But in a, the extension cord is good because it just has a regular base. If you're working, it gives you more length than the actual cord that comes inside the box. These are just some other cords that I have. This is a USB to, oh, this is a USB-C, USB-C um, that goes to my actual mobile charger. This is just another um, cord that I have. You know, just some cords, cause you, you know, you just never know. And this is my um, container that holds my cords for my MacBook. Here's the cord. Here's the um, charger, the charging block for the MacBook. And then this is for my iPad. Then this case was only a couple of bucks as well. I will link it down below. I think it's handy because it just kind of keeps everything neat. Um, like my main cords and stuff I don't want you know anything to happen to the and it comes in like a cute color of course it's pink because I love pink they have them larger sizes but this size just fits everything that I need so I have this as well and then in the center I have my MacBook so these are just some papers I keep them on the side I don't have folders I'm gonna pick up a couple of folders for my work um, for my work bag the good thing about this bag is I was able to keep my MacBook inside of its sleeve I didn't have to put it in there solo it fits put it in zip it up or uh, knock the thing over then it fits in this big um, I'm not sure if you guys see it that's the compartment that it fits in this bag is 17 inches so it is absolutely huge it fits very nicely 
and then it has the strap to go over so that it's protected i just want the extra protection i probably don't even need to put it in the sleeve but this thing was too damn expensive to be playing around with it's gonna be protected from all angles the inside of it as you see it's very roomy i could probably put more stuff in here i just don't i'm gonna put my ipad in a case that's what was on the way from amazon i got a new slimmer case and it also has these pockets right here and it's the material is is what's up it's just like the sleeve so it's water resistant you have here you can put stuff here you can put your phone or whatever there and then we have the larger one on the other side then they have this larger one here you it's roomy you see you can put stuff in there it's very very roomy i love this bag and it wasn't all that expensive either i absolutely love it like i said the material is great it doesn't feel cheap like the other bag that i had got from amazon one second I usually keep these in my my wallet and my um, headphones. I usually keep these in my work bag as well, but I had used another purse to go out, so I took them out and put them on my other purse. But it fits. You know, I said your wallet can go here. Like it fits. I usually just attach my um, headphones to the side right here and that's it guys like it has here you can carry it and it has this um strap that you can wear it as a crossbody um it has the padded part right here it's it's a very good bag and i'm very happy with my purchase I'm very happy with it all right you guys that's it thank you so much for watching this video i just wanted to give you a quick look at what's inside my work bag as a publicist and a talent manager i have to keep stuff on me because i have to be i have to stay ready you just never know in the world of pr you have to stay ready that's <laughs> that should be our theme for publicists publicists we stay ready that's it like i think i'm gonna put that on the shirt we stay ready <laughs> anyways <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video i will be back with a what's on my iphone video next week and i'm probably going to do a what's on my macbook video but we'll see but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next week bye <laughs> the main reason why i think you should start your youtube channel is because they have a creative side to them that they just don't get to tap into within their daily lives and having a youtube channel to me is a great opportunity to show your creative side.